It has been a long road of ups and downs for Vertigo Gaming since the release of their title Cook Serve Delicious 2 seven months ago. Upon release the game was in a very much unfinished state, making it feel lacking despite its exhilarating gameplay. But as the months went on, the game continued to receive regular updates, adding in the content that was missing and fixing the various problems it had. And I was more than happy to give the game a re-review where I could finally recommend it. Now Vertigo Gaming is working on a big free update for the game called The Barista Update, which plans to add an array of new content. And I've been fortunate enough to be given a copy of their Barista Update demo to get a glimpse of what is to come. So let's take a look, shall we? Cook Serve Delicious 2 is a hardcore cooking game and the sequel to the critically acclaimed Cook Serve Delicious, and released September 14, 2017. The Barista Update is a free expansion to the base game and will be available to all who currently own the game and any future players too sometime in June. As to what is exactly going to be in this update at release has not yet been announced but the demo certainly provides us with a very small glimpse of what is to come. So small in fact that I don't really know how to go about talking about the content. Essentially what the Barista demo has given, which was presented at PAX I might add, is the current build of the game with a few new recipes added in and a slight change to the menu. The new recipes are frozen drinks, lattes and espressos, all of which have their own unique ways to prepare and serve them, just like all other recipes in the game. For example, lattes, you need to prepare the drink, then when serving, you need to put in the correct flavourings to the customer's request and then package it up in a container. They offer a new challenge to those who are experienced with the game, as they need to learn how to prep and serve them with efficiency. Along with the recipes is a slight menu change to the pantry, where it now shows the price of purchasing a recipe alongside the amount of money you get for selling it. While previously it only showed the selling price and you had to individually go into each item in the pantry to see how much it would cost to buy. So that definitely works a whole lot better. But aside from that there is little else to really say based on what has so far been shown in the Barista update. While I knew exactly what I was going to be experiencing when trying out the demo, I have to admit while what was provided is great, I am overall disappointed. I wish there was more to experience other than just a menu change and three new recipes, as them alone aren't really giving enough insight into what is to come. I wish Vertigo Gaming had at least added in a new restaurant for it that focused on the new theme coming in the expansion along with the new menu. Now that would have had a much better chance of getting me excited for the expansion. With what has been presented it gives such a sense of rush. It feels like this demo was hastily put together to have something to show for the Barista update at PAC, as opposed to something carefully and methodically assembled. The update is scheduled to release some point in June, no exact date has been given, which only gives Vertigo Gaming two months to get this update done and ready for release. And based on what has so far been shown, I am concerned as to whether the release is going to go according to plan, or if history is going to repeat itself. Back when the Cooks of Delicious 2 preview released before the game's launch, it was adequate and the gameplay was huge amounts of fun, but overall the game felt lacking and unfinished, and sure enough that is exactly what the release of the game was, unfinished. And when I play the Barista Update demo, I get a sense of deja vu. Vertigo Gaming can make really good games, there is no mistaking that, but they need to start turning the hype they create into a reality when it comes to presenting the product. I've no doubts that the Barista update is going to be worth the wait, and a reason to either keep playing the game or return to it come the time. I hope that I'm wrong, but I foresee a repeat of the base game where we're going to get some of it in June and the rest of it over time, which will be a shame. 